Hey guys and girls, today I'll be going over how to create simple hair simulations in Houdini. Uh, yeah, recently I've been trying to create a hair simulation for an animation I was working on and I just couldn't find any good tutorials out there. So after a bunch of experiments, this is the easiest way I could figure out how to do it and it should work in most scenarios possible. Uh, so this will be adding a grid uh, to a scene over here. Uh, let's make it a bit lower at 2.5 and let's also make it a collider. Uh, so first we go to Vellum, Surface Collider, click on it and hit enter. And these nodes are for later demonstration uh, but for now we'll go with this. So now uh, if you create any object it will just land on it properly uh, and uh, be used as a collider. Next, we will create a sphere. Let's go sphere. Let's go inside. Let's change this to polygon. This at seven. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I plan to make this into a uh, a balloon soft body uh, just because I think uh, this is where like a lot of issues appear if it was just a step that uh, you could skip a lot of other steps in later on but when it comes to animations or like uh, mesh deformation such as with muscle simulations or uh, in this case soft body uh, simulation a lot of issues occur and this is just a way to demonstrate all the various issues that could happen with it. Yeah, since we wanted to collide and we want this to be done easily, we'll just hit on the vellum balloon over there and click here. Now, as you can see, everything is automatically connected here. We just hit play to see it in action. And there we go. Have a nice, simple, soft body animation ready to work for it. Let's just bring this here. Now we want to add some hair to the soft body simulation so what we'll do is click on the object click on the sphere here go to the hair, hair util and click on add form and then select it and hit enter that's all we have to do now as you can see there's some hairs present on it let's just make this a bit longer by going to the group there we go length 0.35 now it's done loading. Now if we see uh, when we do uh, animation. Uh, as we see, uh, it just follows along. It does not have any simulation of its own. Uh, it just kind of follows along with the points of the uh, parent object itself. So not a very good uh, simulation. As you can see, it's all kind of just floating underneath as well. So let's go back up with this some pose. Let's go back to the first frame. Now, if we wanted to simulate properly, all we have to do is select the last object. Uh, make sure this isn't hidden, uh, just because that can create uh, if it's not arranged properly. Just select the hedge and node, and then uh, over here, click on this guy. Okay, and there you get a sim node. Uh, let's just disable this so that it's much easier to see. Now when, uh, as it's animating, uh, the hair will also simulate itself accordingly. So let's hit play. Now this by itself isn't perfect as I'll show you a bit later. Yeah. You tend to get issues like this and even with, if you were to add the hair generation to it, just play this out. The hair generation also tends to glitch out and just do this. So, I go here you can kind of see this happens, which is not great. So, uh, I found a very simple solution for this, uh, which is go to your groom node and uh, throw back up. Yeah, uh, go to your file cache, uh, make sure it's on the first frame and click on save to disk. It will just lag a bit, depends on your system, and then click load load from disk. So it will cache all the points uh, that, are, uh, that are currently on the frame. So let me just 
So all of this will get cached over here. And uh, normally I think uh, what happened during the simulation, everything uh, kept getting retargeted. So the points keep changing and that messes up with the simulation. But if you just cache it by clicking to save to disk, it just saves the original position of the of the point and it just worked properly. So now we just go back to our simulation and let's go here. It should all work properly right now. As you can see, works flawlessly. No weird glitches on any now. If you wanted to also like get a bit of collision uh, with the grid itself. Now what we can do is go to the Vellum Sim and then go to Collision. Now we can enable self collisions for the hairs itself and we can add uh, external collision. We can just add this over here. And now uh, let me just demonstrate before and after. So if you look at it from the bottom, you'll see that it just kind of passes through it. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be affected by it but if we go through this if we select the external collision then click on it again uh, hit play again we'll see that much more flatter some of them do clip through just because it is a flat surface with no thickness to it uh, but we do see it interacting with the object itself which is much better now uh, this is essentially it the next part uh, I'll show you is how to create uh, this over here. So suppose we want a character to listen, get a hair simulation answer. Uh, this is how to do it. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is obviously download your character and its animation. I got mine from Mixamo. So uh, that you can find online in other tutorials. It's fairly simple. I won't go over it here. Uh, but in order to uh, uh, get the hair simulation working properly, what we need to do is import it into a German node. It doesn't work if you just try and drag and drop it. It will uh, just like create a new file, just like show all the bones. Uh, so the better way to do it is create a geometry node. Right click geometry, then over here, hit tab import and go to FPX character import. From here, uh, all you have to do is open your file Okay, here we go. This is the file location. So all you have to do is drag it into here. And since the animation is on the same thing, you can just drag it into here as well. Now, uh, you have to add a bone deform node. So bone deform. And now you just connect all of them accordingly. Here we go. So now if we hit play, the animation occurs just as intended, nice and smooth. Now for uh, the hair simulation, uh, we can just follow the same step of uh, adding the fur and then adding the simulate guides node to it. Uh, but uh, if you want to give it some like hair texture, there are two ways to do this. Uh, one, you can go into the uh, into the hair gen, mo uh, hair gen node and then uh, from the guide process over here, we can add various straighten guides, smooth guides, this guide, various things to get different hair textures. So now I'll just enable them. This is for kind of a more afro hair texture or like a more fuzzy or furry type texture. This is the type of texture we're getting now. If you want to cache the simulation, now what you can do is go over here. Then it'll be set to save frame range. Whatever frame range you want, you can set over here or set over here. And then click save to disk or save to disk in background if you want to do other things while it's going on. And then uh, make sure to hit load from disk once it's done. So this is just for performance. Uh, that's not required at all. There's another place you can do this, which is in the groom node itself. So directly over here, we can apply our own, since I already have it all cached out. This is kind of what it looks like. Uh, I use the same nodes, just apply them into the groom node. And this is what you get. It's a bit more stringy and more entangled. You could use this depending on what effect you're trying to look for. So this is what it looks like when simulator is. And as you can see, pretty interesting effect. 
and if we hide this and apply the hair gel to it we get like a very stylized look again i'll follow along and just have its own crazy stylized hair simile hey future cancel here uh, i predict that some of you all might have uh, questions about what if we just want to do maybe the top part of the hair or perhaps like a body part or something and don't want it completely covered in hair uh, so i'll just quickly go over how to do that so go into your groom node and then uh, go to your guide process and click on groom now you will see a guide groom that's added here and from this we just have to click on delete and then let's just zoom in here we go now we can just delete all of this another way you can do this is go to plant and then uh, while you are selecting uh, make sure to hold on the middle button and then it'll start subtracting everything deleting all the grooms uh, and we can also add it all back with a normal left click let's just hit some control z and go back there we go uh suppose you accidentally escape from this so uh let's say you hit escape and now you're like oh how do i go back to the edit mode so what you have to do is just click on this and you'll be back okay uh another thing i'll just quickly show you is suppose you want to uh, brush the hair style it in a certain way you can just uh, click select the brush option and then left click along here let's just delete all those at the bottom here we go kind of like a bowl cut type of thing let's go back and uh, like i mentioned before you'll have to do a save to disk over here and now it's back to this here we go now i'll just quickly demonstrate it uh, also from my entire editing process i've realized that uh, whenever there's any simulation going on uh, the lag messes with the mic so sorry about that uh, yeah i'll just quickly fast forward through this process and you can just see the results that should give you a clear idea and it will work again with the hair generation just as you click on it it will work just as before if you want to do some mode uh, you can just go in your guide process and mess around with all of these options they'll each give you different results so that's how you do hair simulations in houdini i uh, hope this helps and can simplify your workflow yeah bye